What's going on YouTube? It's Dan, it's Ken, it's Dan and Ken PT. And today, we're gonna be talking about the temporalis muscle. Take a look at this picture, you can see the temporalis muscle located right up the side of your head. It's a large fan-shaped muscle. Um, originates from the temporal bone, the bone uh, of your skull that's up there on the side of your head on both sides, and it inserts down into the coronoid process of the mandible, which is your jaw bone. Um, it's innervated by the trigeminal nerve, and what the temporalis muscle does is it elevates and retracts your mandible, your jaw bone, for chewing. Thanks for that anatomy lesson, Dan. Excellent work. Now, let's talk about three things to help prevent tension headaches from that temporal, temporalis muscle, excuse me, um, tension headaches. So sometimes when that muscle is being overused, it um, almost strains and gets too tight, and you could, you could possibly get headaches and migraines, and we don't want that. So let's talk about three things you could do. The first thing I actually learned from my dentist. Um, so you could go to Walgreens or Jewel or Osco and they have what's called sleep tape, or it doesn't even have to be sleep tape. It could be just a non, or not too sticky tape that you put over your mouth when you go to sleep. Now it sounds kind of scary, but just try it and see how it works out. Like I started using it at first, I was waking up, my mouth was open, I, I burst open, the tape came out. So that shows I'm a mouth breather, I'm breathing too much out of my mouth. Now. After a while, you get used to it, and you'll notice that your sleep actually improves too, so that's an extra bonus. Now, the second thing you could do is a temporalis massage. Dan, what does that look like? How, where would that be? Just right up um, beside your head, around the little temple bone, upper right area, and just gently massage in circles. Oh, that feels yeah. good. You leave some tension there. Also, just like a massage, yeah. right? And then just nose breathing throughout the day, just yes, consciously. Yep. If you're not if you're not nose. talking, and if you're not eating, your mouth should be shut. Learning to breathe through the nose helps put that mandible in a relaxed resting position. Um, the temporalis muscle, guys, it's right here. As Dan said, we have a lot of muscles in the skull. We cannot forget about those. When we think of muscles, we think of the biceps form the quads, but don't forget about the skull muscles, guys. We hope you liked the video today. We just wanted to share this bit of information about the temporalis muscle. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have questions or suggestions for further videos, please email us at danandkenpt at gmail.com. And remember, guys, live, laugh, love.